Hello everyone and welcome to our Assassin's Creed Odyssey Let's Play. Today we continue our adventure with the Big Break. It's a fine ship, Telemenes. Cassandra! She is that. Ready to ride the waves for the right captain and the right price. What'll it take for you to part with her? <laughs> Couldn't let her go for less than one hundred thousand. Hundred thousand? Who has that much? Someone who's serious about buying a ship. You think craftsmanship like this is given away? What if I told you I had obsidian to trade? I tell you, I still need one hundred thousand drachmae. Besides, even if I took your obsidian, a ship this size needs an army to sail it. This is Kefalonia. I could always find someone down on their luck and willing to work for next to nothing to get off this island. The seas are treacherous now. Well, more than usual. It would be suicide. You're not being very helpful, Telimenes. Not sure if this helps, but rumor has it the Cyclops is coming for you and Marcos. Rumors mean nothing. Don't believe everything you hear. Rumor also has it his ship is docked in Kleptus Bay. His ship, you say? I'll have to pay Kleptus Bay a visit. Be careful. That one-eyed brute has a nasty temper. I can take his ship and deal with the Cyclops at the same time. Two birds, one stone. Alrighty, let's actually send up our companion and do a little bit of reconnaissance here, so that way we can figure out exactly where our new best friend, the Cyclops, is located. The Cyclops. Time to have a little chat. Alrighty here, so we've actually identified where the Cyclops is at, which is fantastic, but we also need to locate where all the infantry are, considering that I'm sure they're kind of sprawled out all over the place. It does look like we have a few that are around our level as well, so we can expect them to be maybe a little bit easier, considering that we're a little bit higher level, but at the same time, we definitely don't want to underestimate them. Now, of course, we are going to be sneaking our way into this compound. Hopefully, everything goes according to plan. We will try to utilize as much of the brush as we can. Now, at the same time, we also have our bow for some distance range targets, just in case we need to break that out. Of course, we always have our beautiful hidden blade that we can always utilize to stab people in the neck. Now, of course, we have also been at this location before, so we should be pretty familiar with where... All the kind of hiding spots are located. In addition, we also shouldn't really see a whole lot of differences in troop movement. Now, we are seeing a few more gentlemen down there. I may try to utilize this area over here. Now, it does look like the Cyclops is kind of one of our main guys that we're looking to take care of, considering that he's been causing so many problems for us. Oh, the gods as my witness, I swear! Which one? What difference does it make? Uh. All of them, I swear, all of them! I have never heard so much fucking god talk from one man in all my days. Let him go. No one on this island is allowed to say that word! Did he say Cyclops? Did he hurt your feelings? I don't like it when people call me that! Um, oh, I didn't. I, oh. But you're so fat. I mean, big and strong. And you really do only have one eye. Oh, my eye. Give it to me. Give it to me, and I won't kill Marcos for having you steal it! Give it to me! You want it? Go get it! All 
All right, well, it's probably clear to say that this dude is not going to be a big fan of us. Obviously, I want to try to kill this minion over here real quick, considering that he is much less of a threat than some of these other guys. Obviously, we'll take care of the big guy in just a moment here. Got to stay a little bit out of his range, considering that we do not want to get caught in the midst of that. Obviously, that dude just was able to kind of hit us a little bit there, but we should be able to get a few attacks in. It does appear like it's probably best to do maybe about a few hits and then kind of back off, so that way we don't take too much damage. Now, as of the moment, we're still kind of working on this one guy over here. Obviously got the slow-mo because we were able to get that beautiful parry just in the midst of time. Now, obviously, a couple more guys are over here at the moment. Gonna let that dude kind of swing his main weapon and then basically just miss on us. Now, unfortunately, we also have an archer that's been shooting some, like, poison arrows at us for a little while. I'm hoping that we won't actually run into too many issues there, but it is definitely a little bit hard to tell. Alright, so we were able to successfully get rid of that guy. Obviously, this dude's probably not really sure what's going on. Then we have beautiful archer all the way down there. Basically gonna line up that headshot and drop that dude like a sack of potatoes. Shouldn't delay here any further. Even rats like these have friends on Kefalonia. You won't leave here alive. All right, so I think we were able to successfully get rid of everybody. By Zeus. These Kefalonian bandits are no joke. Good thing you're on my side. They really seem to fear you. Now it does appear like we do have an escort mission, so obviously we're going to attempt to help our friend out here, because obviously we just saved his life. And thank you enough. After spending most of my life at sea, it would have been absolutely shameful to drown in a pot. Ah, where are my manners? I am Varnavas, captain of the Adrestia. Well, Varnavas, I'm pleased to meet you. I'm Cassandra, Mystios by trade. <laughs> oh, but you're much more than that, I'm sure. What do you mean? When they forced my head underwater, I prayed to the gods. And when they pulled it out, there you were! All of Kefalonia heard your prayers. I just happened to be closest. <laughs> and you just happened to fight like Achilles while Zeus's eagle flies around your head. So, you have a ship? Of course. Gods forbid I'd end up stuck in this place. What is it now? Thanks to you, it's still in Sami Harbor, where I left it. Perhaps the fates brought us together after all. I'm in need of a ship, and a crew. <laughs> you saved my life! It would disgust the gods to not offer it in return! So, that's a yes? My ship, my crew, and my services are yours. You truly aren't from around here. Ha <laughs> ha! Gods, no! And I thank them for that! Come now and see the Adrestia! We are ready when you are, Captain! Wait! 
Wait for me, Cassandra. I'm all packed and everything. You're coming, are you? If you're going, I'm going. Kefalonia is the only place you've ever known. You'd leave your home? I would if it meant staying with you. You can't go where I'm going. I need to be alone. Who's going to keep you company? I'll be fine. If I can't come, then take Hara. Hara? My pet eagle. She's my friend. Mater gave her to me. But she'll be your friend now. And it'll be like I'm there with you. You know, to remind you of me. Thanks, Phoebe. But you have to promise we'll see each other again. I promise. You haven't seen the last of me. Just stay out of trouble until then. I will. Don't worry. Okay, you can leave now. Cassandra! Leaving Kefalonia without saying goodbye to your dear Marcos? Tell me it isn't true. Well, you're here now, so it won't be true. Goodbye, Marcos. All these years as a dynamic duo! I'll never replace you! Well, I may need another assistant someday, but it won't be easy. Come now, give me a hug! All right, come here. Yes, bring it in. Oh, will I ever miss you, Cassandra? Thanks, Marcos. I'll miss you too. And what does the future hold for you? Wine, of course! Though, you never know when the vines will wither. I'm always ready for another adventure. Speaking of adventure, I have a task for you, dear Phoebe. An adventure? Yes! Already following in your footsteps, isn't she, my friend? Ready to set sail? Prepare to cast off. It's time to leave. Good! The tides wait for neither man nor woman. Time to go. So, what course do we set? Where in this big, beautiful world does the mighty Cassandra want to go? Megaris. <laughs> Megaris? But we'll be sailing into war. I got a contract for some general's head. Whose head? They call him the Wolf. The Wolf? Who wants Nikolaos of Sparta dead? Nikolaos of Sparta? <laughs> the Oracle has spoken! <laughs> to prevent Sparta's fall! The child must fall first. You can't let this happen. Please, he'll do no harm. He'll help us. He will lead us. Silence!
Get me to Megaris. Now. But I don't understand. Of all the places under Ilios, why risk our necks to go there? The Wolf of Sparta is my father. <laughs> <laughs>